Hi Virgo, welcome back to another episode of what the hell is going on in your love life. <laughs> Hi everybody, how are you? Um, Virgo, oh wait a minute, let me just fix my camera, I moved my camera. Um, yeah, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgos only, Virgos sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And um, I have a new announcement I'm going to be making very soon. So keep watching my videos. So that way you'll be able to get the, the deets on what's going on, what I'm going to be announcing soon. Um, so do hit the notification bell, though, you guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That will alert you because once in a while, I will upload a reading um straight out of the blue and you might want to catch it all right so i'm pulling reversals i'm feeling the need to pull reversals oh boy oh boy omg okay so the bottom of the deck here first of all before i get started i'm going to tell you who's on the board here aries taurus or someone on the cusp of that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Tar Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, okay, bottom of the deck, three of wands in the reverse, okay? Delays, 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 lack of planning, setbacks. Not sure what's going on here. Okay, hmm, the high priestess is also in the reverse. So it feels like somebody is not sure about something. Okay, a sense of blocked intuition, having a hard time seeing what's, you know, getting confused. Somebody is getting confused. Is it you? Could be somebody else. There's this energy of like too many clouds. The fog is not lifted, not sure what to do, not ready to make some kind of decision. Um, plans maybe were made in the past with somebody and things or there was a lack of planning a lot of setbacks okay and gosh page of pentacles in the reverse so kind of feels like um, a little bit of a rebellious energy here um someone who's a troublemaker were you dealing with someone who is a troublemaker oh my goodness okay i feel like for some of you you might have been dealing with someone who was just a real I don't know, mixed up in a lot of ways and just a lack of follow through, immature and immature energy. Let's see what the love messages are here. What is Virgo's love messages? Virgo, it feels like you're breaking somebody's heart. I don't know who you're breaking somebody's heart. Or, okay, wait, no, I'm not going to go any further. They said, wait. Okay, worth waiting for deception. Holy moly. What the? And codependency. I saw this in my mind's eye prior to this reading starting. All right, Virgo. Hmm, let me see. <clears throat> Hi, everybody in the chat. Thank you in advance for your super chats. Okay. All right, Virgo, uh, listen, I don't know who this person is. This could be somebody, uh, it feels like there's there there may be somebody you're connecting with or going forward, whichever. I feel like when I give you the reading, you're going to understand it. But there's somebody here who is very smothering, okay, um, quite insecure, may have some addictions, or they're very codependent. It's like this person keeps coming back into your life or will like they come in and then they're out and then they come in and then they're out okay trying to avoid having a heartbreak or they're chasing after you because you've got somebody else or they think you're in a third party and you know codependency is a form of manipulation and control okay um we also have piscean energy here i forgot to say that and so but i feel like there's somebody here who's got clarity about something, about you, 
It's like they they don't want to let you go. I feel like this person does not want to let you go. Okay? They refuse to let you go. They're seeing. Um, it feels like a heart a heartbreak. They have their, their hearts broken and they refuse to accept it. Or they're refusing or they will be refusing to accept it in November. And the more they... Like, in other words, refuse to re, they refuse to accept it and then move on. If they accept it, that means that they are forfeiting and they're giving up. And they're, they don't want to give up. They're going to wait for you. Okay. Four of Pentacles just flew out. So, holding on tight. <laughs> holding on tight. This person is not going to let you go, Virgo. Wow. Ten of Swords. Just these cards are just flipping out as soon as I shuffle. Right on the Three of Swords. They refuse to surrender. They refuse to accept defeat. They refuse to accept that they're that you might have somebody else or that you're going to break their heart and go with somebody else. So here they are coming to terms with this in the month of November. Here they are. It's kind of like illusions are shattered. The truth that is, gets revealed to them, like they realize that they want to be with you. I know, I know, I hear you. I hear you. You're like, really, this again? This doesn't have to be a past person, you guys. You could be meeting somebody new that you just are kind of like, eh, I'm not sure. And the more you push away from this person or deny them the opportunity to be with you, um, the more they cling. You have a clinger. You have a clinger. All right, show me, or show Virgo, the moon in reverse. There's persons like secrets are coming out, revealing the truth. I just heard somebody, this person saying to Virgo, okay, you're going to go with someone else. Okay, well, I'll wait for you. I'll wait till you come back. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on us. I'll wait. You're worth waiting for. You do what you have to do to make yourself happy, Virgo. And if that means go with somebody else, I'll wait. I'm not letting you go. Wow. What? Okay. Two of Wands reverse. Rejection. Definitely. This person is, they got this thing going here. Like, they realize that you're going to reject them or they, or you do reject them and they, they, they feel the rejection yet it's crazy it's it's like they still don't want to let you go who the heck who the what's the deal with this person huh look at that six of cups in reverse just popped out so okay They see this situation as a setback. Even if you're not going with someone else and they just think maybe you are, they see it as like a small setback. They'll let you go. They'll let you do what you have to do in the sense where they're not gonna like hound you, but trust me when I tell you, they're very possessive of you and then they're just gonna wait they're gonna wait they're gonna wait they're gonna wait six of cups in the reverse this is someone who is like completely stuck they have unrealistic expectations this person just lives in the past lives in the past very naive you could hit them over the head with a hammer and tell them we're done i'm not coming back it's over i'm moving on and they still will not accept it Do, 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 do. Um, so I don't know if that's good for you or if that's not good for you, Virgo. I feel like you guys have your reasons for why you either may refuse this person in the future or if it's a past person. Okay, you may have your reasons. Um, 
no matter what, I feel like this person is not going to give up on you. Now, here's what I want to tell you. I'm, and yes, I'm going to go there. Yes, I'm going to go there. Like the Four of Pentacles is here twice, but deception and the Emperor in the reverse. And we have the Emperor in the reverse, male or female. This is a person with a big, nasty ego. This is definitely a quote unquote narcissistic individual. Okay? They are definitely going to let you know that they're suffering or they're going to give the impression that like you really hurt them and that they're going to play the martyr. Um, they're not going to move away from you. You're definitely going to destroy this person. Okay. Or destroy the hope. But this person is going to be more stuck on you. Okay, and if it's not a narcissist, it could just be someone who's extremely egotistical. No matter what, they're definitely going to stay stuck on you. And the more you pull away and the more you go, the, the more they're going to stay. Like, you're the one that got away for some of you. Coming, coming through as the one who got away. Everyone else, they may have just said, go away from me, go away from me, go away from me. You resisted, Virgo, and you, I don't know, you took up your cross, you took up your sword. <laughs> And you said, that's it, you're out, and guess what? I mean, are they gonna harass you? I feel like if there's any communication, I don't really, I'm not seeing communication here right now, right? I feel like this is just an energy of, um, even if you told this person in the past that you were done, or you walked away, listen, Virgo, they are so stuck on you, it's not even, it's it's ridiculous, It's it's not even normal, okay? Two of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Um, hmm. Now let me tell you something. When we say narcissist, right? I mean, come on. Like, I'm not. Even if, even if you, you or I, like some of you might be. I'm certainly not a clinical psychotherapist. If I don't have the person sitting in front of me and, and I do it like thorough evaluation, there's no way for me to know that they're a narcissist labeled clinically okay that's up to you you're you know who your person is but if you've got someone here that's like high on the spectrum that's malignant and you're listening here to see if that person's going to change and finally come through for you you need to click off this the all tarot readings because or get away from that person because people who are highly malignant like borderline sociopaths they don't change and if you haven't come to accept that and you're still hoping, tower readings are probably not going to be for you. Okay. This person, I feel like they have an element. And, and let me just also give you a disclaimer, whether or not this person is one or not, it's irrelevant. What matters is how you feel. And like I said yesterday, if you feel safe in this relationship, you can you can slap a freaking sticker on this person's back that you can label them just a complete idiot. You could label them a narcissist. You could label them, you know, just a, a freaking freakazoid. I don't even know what the hell you want to call them. Whatever they are, it doesn't matter. Green, blue, yellow, purple, whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you feel. What's going on with you? Do you feel safe? Do you feel loved? Do you feel secure in this relationship? That's all you need to know. Okay. So what I'm seeing here though, is this person is showing a lot of immaturity. Okay. Um, they got issues, authority issues with authority at times. Um, just someone who's not capable of making plans or doing the whole follow through thing, but here they are. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles, this might have been an issue about progressing a relationship or conforming into a traditional role as a partner. And this person probably was very anti partnership, or if it felt that way to you, or the way that the things that they showed you, or what they were doing. This person is going to come in, okay, but they're coming in with this false mask. So, what I feel like they're going to do is they know what you want. You're not get or, or they know what you want or they know knew what you wanted. They couldn't follow through with that, but you gave the ultimate ultimatum by 
just saying, I'm done, I'm out. Biggest blow, the biggest blow I feel like you're giving this person is rejecting and ignoring them. And this person is going to hold on to you for dear life and they're gonna come through or show themselves to be someone who is ready to commit, okay? They're here with the two of pentacles. They're balancing things out. They're, they're like, okay, what's the best way for me to conform so I can get Virgo back? This can be someone who's very manipulative. But the problem with every single sign that comes across the Virgo is Virgo cannot be manipulated. If Virgo chooses to stay with a manipulator, it's because Virgo is making the decision to do that. It's not because they're coerced. Now, that's not all Virgos. That's the ones who have raised their vibrations, right? Virgo, you have the ability to say, you're only going to manipulate me if I allow you to manipulate me. It's Therefore, it's my decision. I'm still in control. <laughs> Virgo is no puppet on a string, ever. And if Virgo acts like a puppet on a string, it's because Virgo's intending for a particular reason or purpose to do that. And some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Some of you just really know how to play the game. What did somebody post the other day? Virgos are the ultimate players who don't even know that they're playing. Okay, so again, four of pentacles, again, this person is going to come in and they, they will show themselves, not communicate yet. We'll see. But so far, show themselves to be ready to conform, to give you what you want, to do everything that you ask. And for some of you, this has already happened, okay? Why? Because the Four of Cups. They're going to come in and surprise you. That, that's for sure. You're going to be mighty surprised. Don't fall. Don't fall for it. Be wise, Virgo. Um, but why are they doing this? Because you're becoming indifferent to them. Because you're not interested. You're done with the deception and the lies. And some of you had the whole string along thing. Some of you had somebody who would make plans with you and then not fall through. Or they just weren't acting right. It, a lot of you were like involved with like mental patients. Or, you know, you were trying to have relationships with like a teen like not actually a teenager but someone just acted like they were a child or they never grew up okay the world's reverse see codependency this person so you know what you guys i i heard somewhere say that narcissists are always codependent <laughs> whether they're overt or, or covert, whatever way, whatever element that they're in at the time, they are, they need, they need because, or these types of people who lack identity need to hijack identities in order to feel complete. And that's codependency, okay? This person may even try going forward to act more like you. Oh my goodness. What are we dealing with? Like a... A theatrical show here the drama yeah a false mask this person may even try to mimic you you know there's that old saying you know we get involved with people we look for people who are like us right we want because that's what familiar that's what's familiar to us we try to make the bond with with other people who have the similar similarities that's the soulmate thing this person is not your soulmate they're not even your twin flame. This is a karmic. We're finally doing a reading on just a strict karmic that you have dealt with or you may be dealing with going forward. You know, everybody thinks, oh, it's either my soulmate or my twin flame. Hey, no, guess what? Sometimes we get involved with karmics, but we don't ever really think about that. So this person's going to come in and um, they're going to hijack your personality in order to give you what you want. This F this reading. This is crazy. This is not even like, what is going on? <laughs> What's, where's the moon? Anybody, anybody, where's the moon? Where, where are the planets right now? Why is this happening? This is the, this is just awful. But you know what, if, if serves as a warning for you. It's really interesting because 
I got a lot of readings today from people who are dealing with people like this. So there's something going on planetarily, you know. Oh, yeah, they're going to act like they're going to kind of like mirror you. Virgo wants to be married. Okay, I'm going to get we're going to get married. Virgo wants to relocate to a new, new home. Okay, I'm, we're going to do that. Whatever Virgo wants. I'm going to just be going to, this person going to mimic you. Uh, Virgo wants to, whatever Virgo wants, Virgo is going to get, but which is great, but it's not because of love. It's because of codependency. It's because this person becomes addicted to you because you walk away. They come in with this false mask. They'll do like grasping at straws, <clears throat> doing anything they can to hold on to the relationship, anything they can to not be rejected. Even though the rejection happens and this person gets that knife in their heart once again, you know, they refuse to accept that something's over and they're not gonna let go. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, Knight of Wands in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse. So this kind of feels to me, um, they're gonna try to resolve the problems again, but it doesn't feel like it's coming from an authentic place because of the deception card. It doesn't feel like that to me. It feels like with this knight of wands here that this person is just a chaotic fucking mess. Excuse my for wrench just a chaotic person they have like sexual deviancies is that a word they're a sexual deviant they're impulsive they're the knight of wands in the reverse is a total player total knight of wands in the upright is not a player knight of wands in the upright is just someone who is very lusty and goes after what they want and then walks away the Knight of Wands in the reverse is like makes lateral moves, you know, it's just all over the place with chaotic energy, chaotic passion, you know, um, in other words, like if you were to say to them, yes, come have, be with me physically, they would. And then as soon as like they could get a phone call like 10 minutes later and somebody else would say the same thing and they're chaotic and they'd go over there with them. This person is just wherever they can get their, their fill. Okay. So the three of cups is here, right? They're going to give you that reunion or that the things that you wanted before you don't want them anymore. I know you don't. Or some of you are just like Nasus, Nabra, I'm out. Even if I do want it anymore, I know it's not good for me and I'm moving away from it. What you wanted before, now they're coming in with. Why? Because they're holding on. They don't want to let you go. So we've got the world in the reverse. Okay, that I'm holding that for a second. The world in reverse. So this is like unfinished business. Mm-mm. They're with you permanently till death do us part. Not actual death, but till death do us part. Even if we're never together again, you're always going to be with me. That is a little creepy, but it's codependent behavior. Okay. So this person had somebody else who. Oh, okay. They had somebody else who called them out on their ship. Um, during a time period that you and this person were not together, um, they were being crazy chaotic energy with another person. Okay. Trying to get their fill from somebody else in the clinical terms. It's another source supply, whichever. Okay. But I feel like whoever they were connecting with, um, basically released them and uh, got their freedom from them they escaped okay they escaped they became liberated from this this person and don't get fooled virgo 
that is why they're coming back to you because you were the greatest you were the best you stuck with them you put up with the abuse you put up with the the whatever and this person probably let you go um, because at some point you were so giving that they lost respect for you but then when you finally took your power back and you stood up for yourself or if you do going into november <clears throat> they're gonna lock in on you <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry they're gonna lock in on you and not let you go and they're gonna keep trying okay but i feel like do i feel like they're really gonna reach out no we'll see so far no so far for november i feel like it's coming to terms and figuring out their plan okay they may reach out and you may say no like they may reach out early november and you may say no or just not respond and they'll get the hint and i feel like because you're getting away they're gonna hold on even harder now listen if you're dealing with someone who has <laughs> yeah non-committal this is you some of you this is you you're non-committal with this person some of you this is just a, a very bad relationship that i feel like somebody needs to have this message here about this okay this person has always been non-committal and they will remain non-committal in the sense that they're not going to give you what you want they're coming back so they can have what they want because you're getting away you're escaping this person feels a bit predatorial okay a loan is offered in the reverse wow okay so that feels to me like they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna loan you their heart i'm telling you you guys this person somebody here needs to get wise to whomever they they have been dealing with or get strong or make sure you stay away from this person um, because they're going to come in with all this bull and they're going to tell you a lot of stuff but they have no intention of loaning anything to you their heart their time their effort their energy as soon as you give in to them as soon as you say yes as soon as you believe that or think or they try to convince you that they're really coming back because it's love then they're going to go back to their old ways because it's all about the capture the chase but it's it's too late like your detriment like it's not even healthy i'm surprised the devil card didn't show up here okay still undecided yeah i just feel like this person has no intentions of committing to you with a, committing from the heart like even if they come to you or they show you that they want to be in a committed relationship and they agree to like go to the greatest lengths of actually you know standing in front of a priest exchanging vows even if they go to those great lengths they're still not going to be committed they'll still not give you what's deserved they may even you're, you're still going to get the same thing that's why dealing with people like this it doesn't matter if it commit it doesn't matter if they you know come in and say oh let's get married or let's move in together or let's progress it because with people like this you, you can't trust them all i can tell you all right here's my advice right even though i haven't put your advice cards the way you know that this situation or this person if you're still in it and you haven't figured out what you're doing yet but you're definitely contemplating being done very soon if you're unsure the way you know is that if something just feels off with this person if something just doesn't feel right but you can't put your finger on it exactly that's your intuition your intuition will come through vibrationally in your body like you'll feel it all over and you'll just you'll just get this hunch and a lot of times when you guys feel like something's off or it doesn't feel right you internalize that and blame it on yourselves and then you say oh it must be my trauma 
or my anxiety issues, or it must be whatever I went through in the past before I met this person. No, no. Sometimes your intuition, that little voice, is not loud at all in your ear. Sometimes it's loud in your body. And that's how you know. If you get a sense of not feeling safe or comfortable with someone, anybody, it doesn't just have to be this person, but anyone you meet, pay attention to your body, the vibrations. You can tell, you can feel it. Your body will speak more to you than anything else. You ever hear that term, stranger danger? You can feel that. Trust it. Okay. So if you're head of household, male or female, take charge of your divine masculine energy right now. You may have a father figure who's guiding you here in on, you know, 3D or in the 5D, okay, out there. Um, but you need to recognize that you're not alone in something here also you need to strive for respect dignity and power self-respect self-respect is the most powerful antidote against a narcissist or somebody who is abusing you self-respect is the only antidote because they count on you not respecting yourself that's how they can get in okay you have an, an influential male in your life who will be supporting you or currently is. Okay, look at you. Victory, recognition, and applause. You will win. You know, if you're trying to seek revenge on somebody, okay, <laughs> you go cold on them, here comes a love offer. You go cold on them, you give that cold revenge, the love offer comes in. Oh, and then the here comes with the financial decision. This person's like, okay, okay, we'll buy a home together. Okay, we'll move in together. Okay, we'll, you know, do whatever. I'm telling you this person, okay, reflect is in the reverse. Okay. Um, reflect is usually where you go within and you spend some time alone. In the reverse, this tells me um, you need to actually start reaching out to others. Support. Get support from other people who have either been through this. You have a big thing going on here. A lot of you, I know this may not resonate for all of you. But somebody here right now listening to this reading is going through this and really needs your support guys because this whoever's going through this right now this is kind of like um almost like a life or death situation for some and for others it's just like a, a total mental struggle emotional issues um you know whoever they were dealing with whoever this person in here listening has trouble staying no contact with this person okay definitely has real trouble like that as soon as this person reaches out you one of you here is just like not trusting yourselves and thinking it's going to be different this time when a lot of you have gone through this a million times and there's an old saying you know um the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Like some of you have lost your fucking minds. Going back and going back and going back and thinking it's going to be different because this person comes in with these tricks. Or they say something, or they do something. Okay, wow, secure home in the reverse. You're not safe where you are. Wherever you call home, I'm not, I don't mean that this person is going to come in like beat you up or anything. I just feel like some of you need to seriously, your, your home's not, like you seriously need to be locking your doors. Your home could just be like your safe place within your heart or in, in yourself, okay? But look at you guys. You're like wide open for this person. Some of you, not all of you. I know some of you have 
done the whole blocking thing. You never talk to him again. So help out your brothers and sisters who are still in this situation. Tell them, block, block, delete. And, and I just heard somebody say, well, if I delete or block, then this person's going to know I'm upset. Guess what? Who fucking cares what they think? Who cares? Who cares if they know you're upset or you're not upset? It doesn't matter. What matters is you and that you're okay. Fear and anxiety, okay? This is why you have fear and anxiety. Because you're allowing somebody to stay in your life or to keep coming back into your life who is causing insecurity within your home or within your psyche. This is where your fear and anxiety is coming from. This is why some of you are ill. You have physical illnesses. Your body... When, you, when your body is telling you something, like I said, your intuition, when your body's telling you something and you're not listening to it, and you're not relieving your body of the vibration, you're suppressing it. You're suppressing the intuition, and that vibrates on the inside even deeper, and it stays there, and that's how you become ill. It starts shaking up all those dormant cells that are saying, uh-oh, emergency, emergency right because when you think of like a ripple wave in the water it just continues on until it dissipates because it's just free to go you're not releasing what your intuition is telling you you're suppressing it and that's why you're, you're having illness you're having mental illness mental struggle physical illness whatever it is because of what this person has done to you or continues to do virgo Virgo, pay attention to your body. Stop guessing, uh, second guessing yourself. And this doesn't have to be your past person. This could be somebody new. If you meet somebody new, and, and this is just, this seems like a very specific message tonight. If you meet somebody new and your body's like, oh, run. Oh, oh, no, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling something's not right. Something's not right. That's your cue. You don't need to dive. You don't need to analyze. You don't need to talk to brothers and sisters and a million different people. Just take a cue from yourself so you can avoid this. Especially if it's somebody new. And especially if this, if this is your past person and you're not sure, ask yourself when you met them in the beginning, how did you feel in the very beginning? Take a look at what you were feeling in the very beginning when you met this person. Okay. Popular social female in the reverse represents someone who is corrupt, maybe a con artist, someone who is dishonest, someone who is has cold aggression, lack of empathy, someone who is either just a bully or has maybe sex addictions this person may be jealous they don't follow through with things they have financial instability okay this is not your person like a full description of them this just take what fits okay they might be very insecure smothering abusive emotional manipulator but it's still they're still popular somehow some way because they're very good at conning people oh okay the death card is here again okay but this time it's in the upright for you out with the old in with the new virgo no one said this would be easy no one said it has been the season in your life is transforming bringing you into a new place allow it to happen go with the flow the time for change is now, Virgo. Okay. Oh, mature, dynamic, fiery male. Hmm. Some of you could have been connecting with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Okay. Very irresistible energy. Very, very irresistible. What this person, the mask that they wore... Um, was a mask of self-assuredness and confidence and that's what they showed 
to everyone else that they were powerful and very charming, full of charisma and courageous. That's a mask. That's how they got you. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but that male or female, that's how they got you. Good actor, good actress. Yep, financial loss. Some of you suffered financial loss from this connection. If you were married to them or maybe you lent them money or something, you had some kind of loss, you may very well um, be experiencing that right now. And others of you, um, that may be succeeding this if you go through with this. If you meet somebody new and you don't trust your instinct or your gut feeling, this person is definitely broke, busted, and disgusted. And part of that could be why they're also returning. Not just because they have to have you, but because you may also be like um, a cash cow for them. Even if, even if you only have like 10 more than they do, it's still more than they've got. Okay, ghosted or blocked. So either this is a message for you right now, what you need to do, get to it, Virgo. Or um, this is what has occurred in the past. Okay, maybe some of you already did this, ghosted and blocked. Um, this person might have done this if they got rid of you and went to somebody else. And you, if you still have them ghosted or blocked or whatever, they are going to find a way back through. They can't not, they can't be alone. This person has to, they got to have their energy. They'll die. <laughs> They'll like wither away. They can't, that's what runs it. That's what runs this person, the codependency. They can't be alone. If they are alone, they have to sit with themselves and they don't have a self. Imagine that. Imagine being by yourself and sitting by yourself and hating yourself. And there's a war going on in the psyche. One half, this person may be just split. One half of them just has such a high ego and such high sense of pride, a false sense of pride about themselves and think that they're so great. And then the other side of them just this, this, what's the word? Well, hates them. There's this, this war. This person sits in chaos. It's easier for them to hijack another person's personality and put, pretend to be them because then it calms down the split in their head. This is a real psychological read. I don't know who the hell you guys have been connecting with, but um, adios, Semmefer. That's my advice to you. I read way too many psychology books, I think. Okay, look at this look at this situation differently, Virgo. Sometimes you have to let go of these old notions. Even though you may feel stuck, it's just an illusion. Try seeing the situation from a different perspective, Virgo. A slight change in view can make everything different. Okay, some of you need to change the lenses that you have or you've been wearing when it comes to relationships or people from your past or if this person's coming back in. I don't even really want to upload this reading tonight, but I know I feel called to give this message. And I feel like if it's just not fun. <laughs> it's just no fun. It's, it's like a total shit show right now. <laughs> I mean, we want to laugh. We want to have fun. But it's it's not. It This is like a major wake-up call for you guys. Somebody here. Okay. Some of you had a, a loving older female. Okay. Um, now listen. This means to me, the message that I just got with this card, is that you've got someone, a loving older female, older than you, who really cares about you who truly wants what's best for you. This person comes through as a very nurturing, healing, supportive person. You need to either embrace this person more or wait for them to show up and recognize when they come in, okay? Because I feel like this is going to be like your support person or your person who's going to help you with something here. 
I'm not going to pull any love messages because we don't need to be knowing what the love thing is going on with somebody who's treating you bad. Because, right? Move it up. You got to keep it moving here. All right, let me see. What is your advice? I'm going to pull a couple more advice cards and then I'm going to take a look at your charms. How'd you guys like this reading tonight, huh? I'm telling you, it's different every... There's always something different. Something must be... I don't know where the planets are. Something must be going on. What is today? October 27th. So remember I think in one of my readings I said you're going to be hearing something on October 28th. Okay. That may still hold, hold true. Some of you may have gotten a reach out yesterday or today from someone... Like, kind of out of the blue. Oh, I didn't realize these fell. Okay. So you have the King of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Somebody could be connecting with a water sign. King of Cups in the reverse is an emotional manipulator. Okay. Someone who is not trustworthy. They're dishonorable. Not devoted. This is someone you cannot trust. They are not safe. Um, they'll give you romance, but it won't be solid. Um, they have hidden ill intentions, okay? They're not charitable, and this person would never even go to a counselor. That's one of your biggest clues. Like, if the per I mean, not even it's not even foolproof. I feel like the only foolproof way to know if you're dealing with someone like this is if you reject them, what do they do? Because usually when a relationship ends, like a healthy person would just say, wow, that... That's kind of, I feel sad about that. Is there anything we can do to fix it or I can do to fix it or make it better? That's kind of like the healthy way things end. Anyone, when something ends, they're thrashing about like a shark grabbed their legs in the water and they can't control themselves or they lose their shit, you know, or they start name calling or say, you know, that's someone who's got an ego problem, okay? So, this person is trying to come in and renew the relationship with you. And your advice here is uh, forgive, forget, and move on and heal. Your advice here is head, it's time for you to head in a new direction. Get renewal for yourself. Get clarity on your life purpose. Because your heart knows. A lot of you are just, a lot of you asked yourselves, if you were the ones who were the narcissists, if you were the ones who were selfish, a lot of you actually second guessed yourselves. You questioned yourselves because of what you dealt with, because another person turned everything around on you and said, you're the one with the problem. A lot of you doubted yourselves and you thought that. And I'll tell you something, here's the key. If you truly were a narcissist, you'd never question if you were or not. You'd never be really upset if it's possible that you were. You'd never like be devastated by the thought that you might, okay? Because you'd never even ask yourself if you were because a narcissist doesn't believe anything anyone tells them about themselves anyway. And they truly would never even question me because narcissist comes with, uh, negative terms, you know, negative connotation, negative description. The narcissists don't think that they are negative. There's anything wrong with them. Okay. So if you ever felt like you were the one who was that, I'm here to tell you, nope, you were not because you questioned it. And that's for those of you who questioned it. Those of you who didn't question it doesn't mean that you are. It just means that you're like, get the fuck out of here. I'm not a narcissist. I know I'm not. And how do I know that? Because you're here trying to get clarity on what the hell happened. I don't think narcissists watch tarot card readings. I just don't. Because they're the end all be all to everything. I'm sure there's a lot of them that sit up in the, the seat that I'm in and give them. Maybe, maybe I'm a narcissist. Oh. <gasps> Who knows? You never know. 
All right, let's see. Okay, your advice. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs, Virgo. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. And that basically just means that depending on what type of a insane, insane clown posse you were dealing with, you have to be very specific with which battles you're willing to fight with them and which you're not because you could have an oj simpson type of narcissist or you could have a brian laundry type and hopefully you get my gist with that okay um but always you always stand up for yourself and the seven of wands can definitely stand for having this protection thing over you okay self-defense protection like a shield blocking no contact not getting involved staying away and, and the other thing i want to tell you a little disclaimer here as well um you may or may have you just say what's what you may wind up relapsing back into this relationship many times before before you come to your senses if that happens if you listen to this reading and then this person reaches out to you in november and you and you get sucked back in that's fine realize that you got sucked back in again forgive yourself and keep listening to the readings and learn as much as you can because sometimes it takes a while sometimes you will go back and forth with someone for quite a few years before you finally get to that finished, completely finished stage. <clears throat> you could just be walking away right now. <coughs> Sorry, hold on. You could be walking away right now. Some of you might just to see what they do. Okay? Some of you might just be completely done and, and feel good about it. And then a month or two down the line, the guilt sets in or something happens and you kind of get pulled back in be care be not care not so much careful be compassionate and gentle with yourselves when dealing with people who are very toxic and again I'm, I'm using the word narcissist because i know some of you feel like that's what you're dealing with and others you might not be you might just be dealing with someone who's just a toxic turd stain <laughs> you might just be dealing with somebody like that all right, let's, I just, before I pull your charms, they're calling for some dates. And actually, because Alex said that I'm giving him OCD issues with my cards being all over the table, because we know that Alex is the end all be all here to the channel. And by the way, Alex, <clears throat> I've been reading your posts in the chat and I hope that you are um, doing well. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on. I mean, I hope that for everybody, but I know he was struggling with um, somebody. And um, Alex, if this is your reading, then maybe you have something you got to take care of. <laughs> um, I can't... Hold on. I, I, you know, I just feel like I just feel like I gotta get these cards off the table. I don't, it's really not. It's really not about anybody saying, "Oh, that's craziness." There. I really just feel like I have less of a headache now. Thank you very much. All right, let me see. Dates, please. All right, February 10th. <coughs> That's Aquarius. February 10th. Um, and the 1st. February 1st and the 10th. We have October 6th. We have October 2nd and the 1st. Okay. 
We have scorpionic energy here. Wait a minute. We have Libra. Um, so I'm picking up November 3rd through the 13th. Okay. Um, April 5th and 6th. Hmm. We have May 8th. <coughs> um, we have June 2nd and June 10th. <coughs> well, all of a sudden I have <coughs> like a tickle in my throat. Please don't post. I'll tickle your throat for you. I know how you guys are. Earth sign, uh, water sign. Okay. Something happened October of this year for some of you. We're still in October. Um, but more specifically, something happened on October 21st. <coughs> something occurred. Um, let's see. July 14th. December 2nd. All right, I got to hurry up. Um, okay, August 19th, <coughs> September 4th and 15th, September 1st, 12th. And ninth. Okay. If those dates resonate for you, this is definitely your reading. All right, let me get some charms. And I just hope I don't have like a coughing fit. <coughs> I think the candle situation, you know what I think I'm going to get? I'm going to get those battery operated candles. Look at how the candle is just jumping. And the other one is very still. <gasps> Holy crap. There's a visitor here. Some of you have your cat on you right now. Your cat is purring. All right, charm time. Did I mix up my charms? No, I forgot. Okay. The heck is that thing? Tangerine? Was somebody's nickname Tangerine? Tangerine Dream? I'm also seeing a berry. Berries? Somebody loves berries. Maybe you're eating berries or some kind of seeded fruit at this time. And you have a, wow. You know what? This is a love heart, but this is a very small heart. I feel like a lot of you, your love is shrinking for someone. It's not as big as it used to be. Oh, God, you have the mirror. Wow. What did I say earlier in the reading about somebody mirroring you? Okay. This doesn't actually have a, well, kind of has a mirror on it, but somebody mirroring you, or there's, you know, narcissist <clears throat> looking in the water at his reflection, or her reflection all the time. This person could be constantly posting selfies all the time. Very narcissistic, very needing attention. I, and I'm, not, I'm talking excessively, like 20 at a time every other day. 
very very like full of themselves or very insecure type of energy not excessive i'm not saying having a selfie is a bad thing okay <clears throat> not at all i'm saying excessiveness this person just absolutely loves themselves but they don't really it looks that way okay i love when the american flag comes out build back better y'all okay christmas candle oh is somebody like lighting a candle for somebody or you have you're lighting a candle for someone that's this is like a prayer ritual or you've got somebody in your life maybe you don't even know they're lighting a candle for you for healing okay here's a guitar or a musical in a four that could, looks like a bass four stringed instrument okay not sure if somebody plays an instrument i also have a dinosaur what the heck oh no this is a this is a t-rex maybe somebody's name was rex or somebody's name is rex or something to do with a t-rex i'm not sure jurassic very jurassic-y <clears throat> um i love when you guys post comments or something about the um the charms after i give you like a message about what it means for you like there's an american flag a dinosaur a christmas candle i heard the name holly too like holly they just popped that out related to this christmas candle because it looks like it's got holly around it holly leaves holly love a mirror a small little red heart a berry a seeded berry fruit and a bass guitar okay they said one more oh little boy okay some of you some of you were dealing with li a little boy acted like a, a child not a grown-up meaning like you had a relationship with someone who was very immature uh, some of you might have a little boy that is very special to you right now for some reason or something it could be a little child connected to you in some way it's a male it's a boy um Not that if you have other children, they're not special to you, but there's something about this little boy at this time. Something I feel, I don't know if this little boy receives some kind of award or recognition for something or does something that's very wonderful. Like it feels joyous. It doesn't feel, it feels playful and joyous. It doesn't feel negative. It's not like anything bad. All right, one more. Oh, you have a honeybee. Do you know what's funny about that? A honeybee, I was sitting outside this afternoon on the phone, talking on the phone, and a honeybee landed right on my thumb. You know, my sexy thumbs. A honeybee, a honeybee landed right on my thumb and just sat there. I don't think honeybees sting. I don't know if they do. I wasn't afraid. But I was like, wow. And I just thought this honeybee is like scrambling because the weather's getting cold and she's trying to stay alive and the weather's getting colder and she's trying to survive. And I just let her sit there. And then she just flew away. And I feel like she was kind of like coming to the end of her times because the season is changing up here. Um, so if you see honeybees or if, if one lands on you or something, don't kill it. Um, I feel like sh they're just going through their process right now. This is just a message to you that the season is changing and you have to change along with it, grow with it. Don't allow things to, um, don't let anything hold you back. Leave the past in the past. If that's something that you have to do, go for it. If you're not ready to do that just yet and you wind up going back to somebody or trying again, you know, sometimes maybe you have a few more lessons you need to learn. I mean, you don't have to, but if you do, then you do. And you're still welcome back here, and we still love you. 
and we'll still support you whatever you're going through all right you guys that's it i'm gonna leave the messages here and um yeah i'll be making that announcement soon i'm not gonna say what it is yet though it's actually something different than what i was announcing recently but um I'm still trying to figure out like logistics and how something's gonna happen and how it can happen and if it even should happen. <laughs> but I will let you guys know very soon. I love you all. Thank you. This is my most favorite YouTube channel in the world and you Virgos are my most favorite people in the world. And I love you all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care.